everybody. Well, I finished off that fourth bag of pennies. Um, so this is a recap. Of course, it's listed on my title. <laughs> Anyways, this is what I got going on. Got 1918. Look in the left top screen there. 1918, 1920, oh, not that one, 1918, 1920, and 1929. Those are the oldest ones. And then I got uh, up here top left here, two 1941s. Um, A 41D, three 1942Ds, four 1944s, nine 1946s, one 1946D, and two 47Ds. Then I got a 48. And a 49. Then in the 50s, I have a 151, three 51Ds, a 52, and a 52D, 153, it was three 52Ds, a 53. Four fifty three D's, uh, three fifty fives, two fifty five D's, I think there's two, yep, and a fifty five S. I didn't see, see any um, errors or anything in the wheat pennies, but I'll go back to them later, later on when I fill a row up um, we got 56 is four of them 56 D is three of them then I got five 1957 D's and two 1958 like I said it's just a short video so it's just a recap then over here I have the uh, the early years, 2009, and then this is, uh, oh, what do they call it? Anyways, when he's a younger man, he's got an axe and everything with him, reading a book. Two, two coins, I can't think of the name of it. And then this is the professional years, learning about law and stuff like that. And then in this pile here, we got three. Oh, I gotta put my glasses on for that. Yep. Three 1970 S mint marks. 371 estimate marks. That's a nice 71 S and a 74 S. <clears throat> now over here to the scope. I got a foreign coin. One cent. And there you go, Commonwealth of the Bahamas. It's got the... Uh-oh. I just froze on that part. All right. Fix it. Activate. Activate. That one's still there. Okay. Yeah, I have problems with the USBs on it. So anyways, I found another foreign coin 
on this bag. This was Bahamas. The last bag was Barbados. And then I got a couple good treats here. This here is a crappy coin. But if you look, uh, let me open it up more. Maybe you can see it better. Looks like a web finger. Like it's got a webbing. I don't know what if that, that's listed as an error or not, but it's kind of like filled in there. All right. So, in all rights, that's probably an error coin. And then this one here, you know, like this one. This is the one with an extra finger. If you look at the thumb and the finger, there's a little little finger thing right there in the middle. That's not supposed to be there. So. Alright. And then, so that's an error. That would be an FS801. <coughs> as far as an error. Worth about 8 to $10. But being as zinc, it's already probably changing colors. Now, which one is this one? This is the 2000, okay? And this is a 2000. Yeah, all right. If you look, let me flip it around. And the A and the M of America, that's actually touching. All right, it's supposed to be like that. And if you look at this one here, it's not touching. Now, there's a rule of it is, I didn't look it up or not, but between the T and the T, of the states, the A is supposed to be centered, if I'm not mistaken, or more to the right, and that's ac actually more to the right. So, by all means, this could be a white AM. I'm gonna have Jonathan tell me what he thinks. I have found three white AMs, a 2000 model, but. Yeah, they're not touching. And, of course, I went through tons and tons of 2000s. So you can tell it's not touching, even upside down. So between the A and the M, it's a spacer. So I'm considering that a white AM. That's an error coin. And white AM, and it's worth about 8 to $10. Depending on the condition of it. Yeah. Problem with zinc. Now this one's an oddball. If you look at the rim. It's got a big fat rim down here at the bottom. I can't remember what this is called. But then up top it's, it's like misaligned dye I think it's called. It's not much of, any, much of a misaligned but... You could tell it's um, mint, mint damage. All right, so there's an error. And then, why did I pull this one out? Let me see. Oh, the 82. If you look, you can see doubling. And God we trust. You look real carefully. Uh, let me see if I get it so you can see it better. The end. 
the G O D the W and the E is double. See, I flip it upside down, you can see it some you see it better. But this actually has a shelf. And it doesn't go back into itself. See how fat the N is? If you look at the double W, you can see some of it sticking out. The E, that's it. Anyways, they all pretty much look the same. And then this one here too is an 82. You can see the doubling on it. The W, the E, G-O-D, the I-N, all of it. Don't remember, yeah, trust, the S you can see it in. The T you can see it in. Now let me flip it upside down. These are copper. So you see right here in the end, I can't point to it, but, and the G-O-D and the W-E is really fat. So, that's not in the greatest shape, you know, as far as, it, it's probably, I mean, crap, if you look. It's got some junk on it, and that's from the, probably the other the zinc transfer into it. This one seems to be in better shape, but of course the red's going away. So, but that's what I have. You know, uh, somebody says it's not, it's not, just, you know, honest, honest answer. That's what I come up with. <clears throat> I'm going to be ordering a, a better microscope, one that where you can get right into details. This $20 one's good, but yeah, it's time to upgrade. So there you have it. Put this back down to normal. And I appreciate y'all coming in and checking out my uh, video. Alright, I'll catch you on the streams. Odie's out.